I know and I have tried this for eight years with people if you practice this consistently you're going to begin to see a change because at the end of it when we speak all we want is pure sound as a bell hi welcome to Shreya TV and this is the second in the series of voice work videos where you and I are together going to learn some of the most effective vocal techniques to get authentic purposeful and impactful voice and in today's video I'm talking about the first uh, button in our vocal dashboard which is the texture timber or the quality of our voice if you haven't checked out the first video you should because these are sequentially designed videos if you watch the previous ones the newer ones are going to make a lot more sense so if you watch the first video you know what I said about quality there there are broadly two categories of voices uh, rich and poor and of course there's a lot in between but just for better understanding there's a rich voice and there is a weak or poor voice so let's understand how our voice really works in the, in the throat uh, in the glottis our vocal cords uh, stay in a way parallel and when we breathe and you breathe out so the vocal cords start vibrating and there are times when we breathe in a certain way that a lot of air comes out instead of hitting the vocal cords and that's called a breathy voice so a lot of people when they speak like this or they're a little more exhausted that turns out to be a weak voice because in this voice the one that I just demonstrated a lot of breath is moving out without actually touching the vocal cords so your voice is your breath is supposed to hit the vocal cords and that's when they start vibrating and the sounds come out so I learned this uh, very effective uh, exercise few years back when I was doing a course on public speaking and I'm going to share this with you um, essentially you have to imagine that you have a ball in your hand and that ball is the ball of sound and let's call that sound hey okay so the idea is that I want you to go in a room get stand in one corner of the room imagine that you're picking up the ball the sound which is hey and throw the sound on the opposite wall and when you throw like physically throw this sound I want you to say hey okay so let's do it together but before you do it I want you to fill yourself with air so I want you to breathe very well and as you breathe out I want you to say hey with me hey with me hey if what you're hearing is this extremes because the latter was just like shrieking you were exerting a lot of pressure on your vocal cords that they just crashed in the first one it was hey so again there was so much of breath it was a breathy voice that when you when you're breathing or the entire air came out without really touching the vocal cords so what you want is as I learned and I want to share that with you be on your voice so your sounds are supposed to be on the voice they're supposed to be on the surface on the top nothing really exceeds the sound the sound is really the ultimate and this hey activity ensures that you learn how to get the right impact and throw in your voice without really putting undue amount of pressure and if there's a lot of breath in the voice that also gets sorted by this activity so once again let's do it with me Pick up the ball of the sound. Hey! Yeah? Now, if you want to change the uh, dynamic of your breathing, if you want a little more impact in your voice, then I want you to throw the voice even harder. And this is how it's going to sound. Hey! Hear the impact? It completely changed from the first one, which was a little more stretchy and elongated. Hey! Versus Hey! But in both the exercises, 
The primary is the sound. So this hey exercise is really the first one to better the quality of your voice. The second exercise that I want you to start doing is open up the jaw. Again, it's not only the voice that needs to be worked. A lot of times there is tension from external sources and internal sources. When we want to speak in places where we know we might get judged, where the stakes are high, in those spaces a lot of tension invariably sits in our jaw. Like I know for a very long time just when the camera light, the red light comes in, the recording, I don't know what happens but my entire jaw gets so stiff. I'm so natural otherwise but as soon as I get on the camera for a long time I used to be very fake because uh, something used to change inside my mind. I used to feel okay everybody's watching me. I have to be my best. I have to be my best. So I really didn't know what I wanted to be but all that tension was paramount and it was reflecting uh, in my of course in my body and my face but also in my voice which began to get very stiff. So a lot of people when you hear them they speak like this. The jaw gets tightened, sometimes it gets clipped, in the sense that the jaw does not really open up. We pretty much close our jaw and speak. So, there is barely any room for the sounds to come out because the jaw is mostly closed. So we're so closed and we sound as if we're not ready to embrace life. And that's not what the message you want to give, even in the most technical meetings and discussions with people. What you want to do instead is this next exercise, which is start flexing your jaws. Your jaw muscle is somewhere here on the side of your neck. And so this is the jaw muscle. I want you to hold it and start pressing it. I also once learned that uh, the roof of the tongue somewhere here is a very soft palate. That also, if you press that, if you exercise that, it helps us speak better. This is incredible. And if you feel that your jaw is really, really stiff, take your palms and start exercising them. The idea is to get the most of uh, these sessions and even if that makes you look stupid, who cares? So, depending on the stiffness in your jaw, I want you to exercise them. Uh, stretch your jaw muscles so that when you speak at least your jaw supports you to speak. So let's do the third exercise with me. We'll deep breathe in and as we breathe out we're going to say A. A. We'll say E now. funny and stupid imagine me right now I I I still feel stiffness in my jaw I just feel even if I do this for is this is my profession this is my work the jaw still feels stiff so imagine for those of us who haven't really ever exercised our jaw and face how stiff we would be to get onto the stage or speak up in a meeting so really do this exercise I We'll say O oh now. O oh, U. Now, why is it important to do the vowel sounds? Because practically, when we speak in English, every word has a vowel sound. If we know how to exaggerate our vowels, we will naturally tune our face to open up, our mouth to open up. So when we are exaggerating, the mouth is forced to be open. A, E, I, O. So of course you don't have to do it this way when you're speaking with people. But this will get you habitual of opening up your mouth so that the sounds have a little more passage. It's like you're opening up the door a little more for sounds to come out. When you invite a guest to your house and you barely open the door, how is it that they're going to come in? The same way, when you want to speak and create an impact, it's very difficult to do that when you don't open up the mouth because then the sounds really don't have room to come out. So these three exercises, the hey exercise, of manually flexing the jaw and exercising it to take out all the tension and stiffness, and the pronouncing of wow sounds. Uh, 
In the beginning, you might need to put in 15 minutes each day, but as you get better and better, just three to four minutes of quick voice work in total is going to get you rolling into whatever you have to speak about wherever. So I hope in this video you've learned some techniques to get a good, rich, textuous voice. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.